Good morning, and I would like to thank you for filling out the questionnaires on the site. Yes, slowly, gradually, but we are getting there. It is a lot of fun for me to read your answers, and I feel like I have not known you before properly now that I get to see inside you what your thoughts are and who you really are. It makes a lot of difference. It makes it a lot more personal, and um, I think it brings us together, not just you and me, but us as a community too because we open up we start to make the first step of revealing what is actually inside us what we are what our ideas are and what we think about this world as you can see i've kept it image free and age free and height free and country free pretty much uh well yes there is a map with the dots but um it doesn't say who is who just shows us how global we are and that we are all over the world and I think that is great to see if you have not added your dot to the site yet go to the home page and add your little red dot in your city and your, your country so that we are all linked you can see how small the world is how far away we are yet how similar we are and some answers from people on the opposite sides of the world are very similar so we are all people we are all pretty much the same yes you can divide it into nations groups ages and so on religions but basically we're all human beings and this is what I want to convey that the closestness starts with being able to identify with the other person be being able to understand the other person but once you draw the line between you and say well he is white and I am black. Um, I'm pushing him away. I am drawing, I'm, I'm creating a wall between us because I cannot understand him because I am from a different group, different social group, different age group, and so on. Once we find the similarities and we concentrate on the similarities, it is a lot easier to get closer to other people to understand other people I can totally relate to what he did because if I was in that situation I would do exactly the same now uh, we get to the point of the site and I wanted to explain to you what the whole point is why the site what is it you're not allowed to talk about certain topics that you perhaps would want to talk about I said I want to keep it clean and I want to keep it secret we all know who we are and we start to reveal who we are but we start to reveal it in the, in the language of most people and I don't mean English by that although that is part of it in the in the language in the words that most people can relate to and most people can understand you see if if we and some of us did to start with fill out the profile in let's say Russian very little people can relate to that profile and understand what the profile is about and thank you for doing it in two languages I think that is great and a good example for all of us to follow maybe I should do mine in, in two languages too but basically why why forbid certain topics for now for now again because it can uh, scare some people off it can create some misunderstanding it can create a wall because instantly when people hear something that is not them they draw a wall between you and themselves and the wall is never good we want we want similarities we want closeness and later once the closeness is there you can reveal certain things about yourselves that are perhaps new to the other person but once you are connected it is much easier to understand so like you and me we can say okay we're both human beings we're about the same age group in the ratio of 1 to 100 we are in the same age group and um, we both use YouTube we both eat and we both sleep and hopefully we are both conscious about our health and about some sort of spirituality whatever we might call it there are similarities and you might like apples and I do too and that is good that is good to see you might be a Gemini and I am too and whatever similarities you can find with the other person it creates little connections little aha I understand you sort of feeling 
and later when the aha I understand your feeling is there you can say well you know what I know that you will understand because we are so similar in many ways I have this little secret of mine I like to and it can be anything innocent or not or it's something from your past experience I like to eat chocolate a bit too much okay well you don't but can you understand what it feels like no, you cannot. Well, I can explain it to you. Perhaps you can find a similar area in your life when you really like to do something. It doesn't have to be chocolate, it doesn't have to be eating at all. When you really like to do something that I do not really understand. Yet you can explain it to me, what it feels like, what, what emotions it evokes in you and um, why you enjoy doing it. And maybe if you... Um, if you buy me a chocolate, I can help you get what you want. This is what it's about. And, um, of course, I always encourage you to be interested in other people, right? Why? What do you think? Because I want you to make these new connections. I don't want you to say, ah, I have enough friends, I'm too old to make new friends, I don't need friends in the other part of the world, and so on. I don't need friends of the same sex. You do. New connections bring new opportunities, new knowledge, new growth, new development to you. It's good to stay open and by not staying still but making the first steps, baby little steps. If you're bold enough, make big steps. I only encourage that. Steps by writing something on the forum, an idea. Have you had a look at the forum? Okay, hopefully you have an idea that you can share, an experience, no matter how silly it will sound. You don't, you don't put your real name on the side, you don't put your age, you don't even... Um, people are not even sure if you're male or female or where you're from and so on. Just share an idea and don't be afraid that people will think, oh, this idea is silly. Who cares? Some people will appreciate it and even a silly idea can provoke a lot of thought and a lot of internal conflict with somebody else's idea that might be different and that is good internal conflict with somebody else's idea stirs up some sort of activity inside your soul inside your brain as why did he say this maybe that is true maybe that is something to add to my own idea to my own growth and it is all about personal growth why the personal growth? Because that's what life is about. Life is not about going like a robot, going to work and coming home and going to work and coming home and feeding yourself with whatever is there and just getting by. It's about growing, it's about new understanding and opening new doors and seeing what is there. And to open new doors, you need to know that the doors are actually there. And these are, these are the people. We are the people, you are the people for other people to open these doors, to show people, ha, huh, there is a door right there. Have you ever opened it before? It's called meditation. I don't even know what it's like. I heard about it, but I don't know what is it. And uh, we have members from many different countries. We have an Ayurvedic doctor from India who I met about, I don't know, five, six years ago, maybe seven years ago in India. We were filming a documentary on Ayurveda treatment and detox in his hospital with a Korean team of doctors and it was very interesting. He's part of our our community, our our site. Imagine and they, they teach meditation, they teach all sorts of things that are so new to the Westerners that it just you know, I, I haven't heard about them. You probably have not heard about them too. And and that is the new door that I want you to open by asking questions, by sharing. This is what I am encouraging, by sharing and being open. Not asking how much money you make and what is your job, but asking what what do you have to offer other people, what sort of idea do you have to offer. And... Um, how can it benefit other people? And I think that many of our ideas can benefit other people. Why? Because our brains are limited. We can't think of a million things at the same time. So we think of uh, 10,000 things at the same time and another person will think of another 10,000. And once we exchange, we get 20,000. 
another person comes in 30,000 different ideas and different experiences and different know-hows and so on. Yes, some of them might be not quite applicable to our lives, but some of them might be just what we need to find that balance. Maybe if you do come from Western society, you will you will find meditation really useful or some breathing techniques to calm you down, to get rid of stress, to help you quit smoking. Maybe, maybe if you're from the East, you will find some of the Western philosophy really new and refreshing to you. Just what you need to complete your your own philosophy. Like, like a piece of missing puzzle. And since we're all scattered around the world, like a jigsaw puzzle, kind of taking the taken into the box and going like whoo and some pieces land here some pieces land there but when we all come together it makes a larger picture surely we are a picture on our own but when we come together there is a larger picture which is a lot more exciting with a lot more details and interesting things that we can all benefit from right when you see the picture so let's not stay still and wait until other people come and talk to us, read our profile and say something to us. Make the first step. Being open is not sitting still and waiting. Being open is moving forward, moving towards other people. Being open, saying something, saying hello, asking a question, being interested in the other people. And all the information is there when you read the profile. It's like you, you've turned the person inside out. You probably don't know the answers to those questions if your best friend was answering them because you never, you never really ask. What do you think is your worst habit, and why would you want to get rid of it? These sort of questions are deep questions that require thinking. You don't ask them. What's your eye color? Because that is the obvious. And while it is the obvious. It isn't really something something that makes a difference. You would agree with that, right? No, eye colour is an eye colour. And, and how old are you? Well, so you were born 20 years earlier than me or 20 years later than me. It, it doesn't really matter. You're still the same person. I might have more experience. You might have more wisdom. You might be more educated. You might be less educated. Who cares? These are not things that matter. Things that matter is things that come from here. And this is what I encourage you to share. Things that come from your core, from your heart, openly towards the other people. Many of you say that you feel uneasy opening up and you don't like to talk about yourself. Now think about it. Unless you talk about yourself, other people will not talk about themselves to you. And in everything there needs to be balanced. So you need to come overcome this little barrier of I don't like to talk about myself barrier because I'm not so confident, I'm not so secure, maybe I'm not so proud of who I am or I don't know who I am. Answering the questions will give you answers to answers that will benefit you in the first place. Once you have identified your worst habit, you know what it is and you know that you've labeled it your worst habit, so what's the next step to get rid of it, right? But if you never ask yourself the question, what is my worst habit, you might never realize that you even have that habit and that that is something perhaps to let go of slowly. Maybe other people have faced the same experience and so on. Anyway, you get the idea. I think and I hope. And you know what the most exciting thing is? That our community is a group of intelligent individuals who can think for themselves and who do not feed on chewed food all the time, who have ideas to share, who have thoughts, who have something that others can benefit from and who I hope are ready to make the first steps to be able to connect slowly, gradually, but making the steps forward, taking the time to connect to other people. Right? 
Right. This is what you say in Korea. The sound for the rumbling stomach is I don't know how you call it in your in your language. It could be but but yeah, in different languages it's different. So the stomach is saying, Lena, please just finish filming the video and go to the kitchen and give me something, please, like green juice or carrot juice or whatever. Thank you for listening. We'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Goodbye.